you know, I mean, if you need to go to bed, Ben, don't let me stop you. I don't want to. <laughs> I understand. I'm already, it's, I'm already naked from the waist down. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing? Well, yeah. we're doing really well. thank yeah. you. <laughs> I know it's been a busy day. You probably have done a lot of these already, I'm sure. Yeah, um, I, I, I've had a few beers though, so uh, <laughs> no, I should say it's quarter, it's quarter past ten over here. So we're oh, in the UK. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. I, uh, you know, I mean, if you need to go to bed, Ben, don't let me stop you. I don't want to. <laughs> I understand. I'm already. It's. I'm already naked from the waist down. It's fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes two of us. Um, <laughs> okay. Be- before I really get this thing off the rails. Okay. So we, we are all here today to talk about matriarch. Yeah. A uh, uh, phenomenal um, um, body horror there. It's called body. It's a body horror film is what. Kind of, yeah. I mean, it draws, kind, it draws, of, kind of. Yeah. I, I had some thoughts on that because man, I don't want to spoil anything. Okay. I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to be very, very careful how I talk about it. This is not a possession film. I don't want to put that out there, but I have this theory that like body horror can be possession horror, but possession horror isn't always body horror. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, there's, cause there's an alienation from your own there you body that, that those two things have in common. So yes. I, I yeah. Mean. And so there, there are dynamics here, not dissimilar. Um, um, <laughs> uh, J- Jemima, would you do me a favor and yeah. give us a summary of Matriarch so that I don't spoil something accidentally and get in trouble? You ask the wrong person. To- <laughs> 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 um, oh, oh, okay. Uh, Matriarch is essentially about uh, a a woman, Laura, who is lost and disassociated from her life and that has some problems, who ends up sort of with nowhere else to turn, going back home to the place and the person that caused this. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> and that would be me <laughs> what <that> segue. Surprise. <laughs> um, yeah and, and that would be me yes leaning into that a little bit you play her mother and i yes. have i is do you feel like there are some in, are, are there some intentional analogies for sort of generational trauma and that kind of uh, uh relationship aspect Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, there's so many layers to matriarch and 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 there is exactly that generational trauma and, and things from the past coming back to, you know, affect our behavior today. And a lot of other layers of different things going on with Celia as well. Um which doesn't make her the best mother in town, let's put it that way. Um and and what's lovely about Matriarch as well as all the kind of kind of wild storyline is at the heart is this, you know, relationship between the mother and daughter that hasn't worked and isn't working. And, you know, Laura's left very much needing a lot more from Celia than what I give her um, or certainly a lot more different things than what I give her. Um, it's a really interesting kind of, intricate storyline really and a lot of layers yeah i i yes it is very layered and i can tell you that <laughs> by the end of the movie i was jaw to the <laughs> kind of like oh okay yeah I, I, this is where we're going and i'm along for the ride absolutely <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, that was us as well. <laughs> <laughs> Jemima, there are moments where it feels like she just, just no one will be aligned with her. Do you feel that way about the character? Yeah, no, I absolutely uh, felt that, which is what I sort of uh, loved about it when I read it, because, you know, it's uh, what happens to Laura, how she, how we find her in the beginning is, is very extreme, but it's something that, I mean, I relate to in my life. <laughs> you know, 
there are times when you know all of us when our lives aren't working no. the way we want and uh she's in a sort of pretty desperate place and she doesn't fit in mm. and she's never fit in and you sort of discover that when she goes home you can see she's left somewhere because she never she didn't fit in there mm. and um and but she hasn't got anywhere else to go so she ends up revisiting that and then revisiting the traumas that she had there yeah. and um uh and the whole film is really about that mm. and about her finding herself well yeah. look, ben you crafted a hell of a movie man and and yeah. and ladies your your performances are phenomenal thank you very much i really uh, really thank you time. you're thank very you, welcome Steven. october 21st on hulu thank yes. you guys so much have a great rest of your day thank you